now it has started transmitting the pixels to the servers, and I hope I'm entertaining for Griff later. You better be, or else you're so fired. If you can't entertain me in the pre-show, what good is the rest of the show? Now it no, no. The That's not entertaining enough. Quickly. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's high no, no, somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, you guys uh, are worse. Oh, uh, okay. So for our pre-show, who'd win, uh, tra Transformer or uh, Master Chief? Master Chief. Transformer. You're, you're totally wrong. Your argument, Griff. Go ahead. Come on. Master Chief's smaller, so he's got the agility on his side, and he's got speed. He could just like crime him like a little spider monkey, and then you know blow him up because he's got things like a Spartan laser or sticky nades. All right, I'm gonna be 100% honest here. I didn't see Master Chief run until like fucking <laughs> Halo Four, and that was when he got the fucking sprint ability. Otherwise, that, he was that's just jogging. Those Spartans. No, master. Well, like okay, Spartans. How long? To learn Plus, how to just split. because Transformers are big doesn't necessarily mean they're slow. Don't use the Michael Bay movie as reference <laughs> material. Yes, yes. But they're so big, actually, though. They are big, but they are agile as hell. Yeah, but more agile. I don't know. I just feel like the smaller ones got the, you know, the advantage. <laughs> like Fina said, push them into the water. What you got? <laughs> <laughs> that is why they are fighting mid-continent. There is no water around. Uh... We'll fight in a desert. Not to desert. mention the Transformers guns are much larger and more powerful than a Spartan laser. So, seeing as how a Spartan laser can pretty much, you know, kill a Spartan, I'm pretty sure once the Transformer blasts the fuck out of Master Chief, he's going to go flying and he's going to be dead. But that's not true. I mean, he's he's small. He's got, a, like, a whole advantage to be able to hide behind stuff that the Transformer's not going to have. You just pick up the fucking rock and throw him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Look, I'm gonna hide in this crap. It's not to mention how many Transformers. There's several Transformers that are people size. I can't think of any, but I, I don't know the Transformers as well as you do. So, I can't think of any of their names. But I, there's some <laughs> Your argument is invalid if you have no examples. Well, and there's we'll also just go to the like internet. Minor ones that can actually combine together to become even bigger. Oh, we're not talking Voltron. You get one Transformer and one Spartan. Chief is Voltron versus the Transformers. Oh wait, now you're getting into like secondary topics. Yeah, that's it's, not fair. Voltron is not a Transformer. Technically, he is. He turns from five cats but into one big robot. <laughs> motherfucker, he's a totally different like series and entity. Not to mention that the Transformers are sentient AIs. Voltron, however, has to be piloted by five fuckwads. <laughs> True, but they still have some sort of sentience. They can move about by themselves. I've seen it. All right, all right. Let's actually start the show. That is the end of the pre-show discussion. Pilots. You can always go to Twitter or the website, InfiniteRespawn.com, or you can check us out on Twitter at InfiniteResPC. Let us know what you think about a pre-show fight. No, no. Spartans or Transformers. Let's go. All right, are we ready to start yes. the actual show? All right, here we go. Let's start the actual show in two, one. I didn't hear the three. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Infinite Respawn Podcast. I'm Chicken. I'm Griff. I'm Baka. And yes. you will notice that there is no Oak this week. He is uh, MIA. Someone needs to make a picture of Oak with the Chia hair so we can put in his place <laughs> when he's gone. And that would explain why he wouldn't be Actually, talking, because he'd be a little ceramic Chia pet. Chicken, uh... just go find a picture of a Chia pet and throw it up there. <laughs> Uh, Why did you think about this before the show? I know, right? If we would have done I that, know. I would have put like a little chia pet. I could have done. I should. I could have done some like paint skills and. What? What? What do you look so perplexed I, for? I was reading chat. Ollie was. Ollie was saying something about the blue dragon pilot didn't die, and it took me forever to realize that he was talking about the Voltron stuff that we were talking about in the pre-show. The blue lion. Yeah, I, that's. I was like, I don't know what's going on in chat right now, and I know I was here. Yeah, I just I yeah didn't the new show it. like I think in the old TV series at some point, the the blue lion dude dies and then the princess takes over the piloting of it and. Well, for those of you that are listening to this via audio, um, the pre-show is on YouTube. You can go check it out there. We were talking about Transformers and Spartans and yeah, I think that's. Dude went in a fight between Optimus Prime and Master Chief, and then somewhere along the way, Chicken started 
saying something about Voltron, which is not part of the same <laughs> universe. Is... We're all, they're all part of human canon. We, human canon. Human canon. I need well, I guess canon. if you want to follow the South Park canon where everything lives in imagination land, then we, I guess we can do that. Yes. Boom, there we go. Everything that humans create is all go, part of Imagination Land. But then we have to go through and deal with things like Thundercats involved in this fight, and G.I. Joe. No, no, and... we're going to limit it. Oh, so th Joe Battle does that mean... Two people, or two entities. Oh, I know a good entity then. You can save it for next week. I'm going to save it now. Right now. Voltron and Power Rangers. Oh my god. Very okay, that'll, similar. That'll be next week's argument. Nothing you can't argue about that. Actually, They're very... Yeah. I would like to see that as a death battle or something. <laughs> yeah, I know, Next right? Week, we're going to get back to our show okay. right now. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. Um, what's everybody been playing? Because if Chicken doesn't go first, I'm going to totally talk about what he's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go ahead, Baka. You can go oh. first. Mine's been pretty simple this week since I've been working. Is uh, I've been playing the crap out of Legion and trying to get as much crap in there done as I can. Yes, we're looking to gear up to do raids and stuff. If you are a World of Warcraft player and you're on the Lion side, you should hit us up. Join our guild. Let's do some raids. Yes. Smash Cookies. That's our guild name. Come on. Who doesn't Power want to Power Rangers was Smash always cookies cheesy, Ollie. Yeah. Power yeah. Rangers was always cheesy. We just didn't realize how cheesy it was until we got older. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I used to enjoy it, but then as I got older, it's like, wow. Wow. All right. So chicken. But anyway, what, what have you been playing? Let's talk about it. Uh, I've been playing Legion, of course. Yeah, Legion. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think I have done just about nothing but playing Pokemon. You're not you playing see. Pokemon. I That's am playing I Pokemon. He's not playing Pokemon. Okay. I am. Okay, it, I am playing Pokemon. You cannot say that I am not. It's you're. Not, you haven't even started the game yet. Okay, you're not playing World of Warcraft. You're just farming for mounts. I am too. I have gear and stuff, and I'm doing dungeons and all that stuff. Yeah, but on some of your characters, all you do is go to Kara. So well, that's because that's, that's all they're looking for. <laughs> that and my point exactly. Yeah, but at least I'm still playing in some facet. I have other characters that are playing the game. So you am are I. playing an entire game that you haven't even started yet. I've beaten it before. Because he's okay. trying to get a shiny. Yes, Pokemon. tell everybody why you haven't started okay. the game yet. I am farming for. In Pokemon, in the Pokemon world, all po well, most Pokemon have a special variation, which is called Shiny. In in Omega Ruby, the chances of getting a Shiny Pokemon are 1 in 4,096. So you'll eventually get it, but it is super, super rare. It, it has a special color variation. It shines when it comes out, and it has high uh, IV rates which are uh, individual values, really good for when it levels up and whatnot. So it's really strong, but they're really, really, really rare. And there, there's a whole community that does nothing but shiny hunting, and I I watched a few of them streaming, and I, I got this one recently, and I was like, hey, I want to go ahead and start this game off differently than I have because I've played a lot of Pokemon games. I have played them all the same. Start up, get the fire Pokemon, just play the game, beat it, be done with it. This one I'm playing differently. I'm starting off, I want to start off with a shiny, so I'm forcing myself to farm. I've put about 1,000 soft resets so far, and as you can see, this is how I do it. Rubber bands. What are the rubber bands even doing for you? Holding down the left and right, uh, the left and right triggers. So all I do is spam A, and then when I see that I did not get it, I just press start. Instead of having left, right, and then start. Just He's had this a, game a, a, a. since Tuesday, yep. everybody. We got it on Tuesday for his birthday. Happy late birthday. Um, and he hasn't even started the game yet because he's been doing the, the shiny hunting. Yes. I, I want so a different weird. challenge. I want a different challenge to it. He's going to be an old man in a wheelchair, and he's going to be like, I'm going to get the shiny. I'll get the, sh I'll get the fucking shiny. I've thought many, 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 many times to just give up and play the game. See, I don't have that kind of patience. It's like, yeah, fuck it. I need, I'm going to go play the game now. I've got a lot of patience, people. If you've ever if you've ever doubted my patience, don't. Don't. He is a very patient man, and it is frustrating to me because I'm a very impatient woman. So Yes, she is. We, we are very different from that spectrum. That's how right we there. balance. He's mm -hmm. like, you've got to wait. I'm like, I want it right now. And he's like, no, just wait five minutes. 
Okay. Yeah. I, I spent... When I first got the game, we got home that night. She recorded Bioshock, of course. And I spent that whole time she was recording Shiny Hunting. I spent the next day Shiny Hunting. See, the I next thought day, you were playing the game. Yeah. I didn't realize until, like, Friday... I think you told me on Friday that's what you were doing. So yeah. I didn't even know that you weren't playing the game. I've been carrying that bastard around all, like, the last four days. Just hitting A, checking, hitting A, and then checking, hitting A, and then... It, it, it's a different challenge. That? You guys do that? Anybody else, Baka? You, you shiny hunt? If I get it, I get a shiny. I just, I usually don't care. I've only seen... I've only gotten a shiny once randomly, ever. And that was when I played gold... Uh, the first time I got a shiny Noctowl. A what? Uh, it's like a, it's a, an owl. It's an owl. Yeah. Okay. It, it's the evolved. See, wolf. I heard towel, and I, I was a shiny, like, Wait, I have a shiny Santa? legendary. Did you get it from an event? No, actually, I did not. <laughs> what, is, what is it? I don't remember which. You know those uh dragon things that fly around. I can't remember their damn names. Uh, but it's it's in the like Omega Ruby and Sapphire though the where you get the one of the two dragon ones. Oh okay, I think I, I got one of those that. as a shiny. But the thing is, how I got it shiny was randomly through a world trade. World trade. Do you yeah, understand like, was... how many people like I, I I know the community a little. You know how many fucking people would lose their fucking minds if you were just like, oh yeah, I randomly got a. It's probably either Latios or Latias, a shiny. Yeah, they would fucking hunt you down, shoot you, cut off your legs, and cut off your arms, oh my God, and that steal your fucking so game. Quickly. Yeah, that, that was just like, all right, no. but no, yeah, I was just like, well, I, I, on mine, I like, I breed some of the the starter Pokemon and some other ones here and there, and I'll send them out randomly at World Trade just to kind of see what I get. Plus, to kind of, you know, whoever doesn't have, um, you know, one of the other starters, it's like, oh, cool, I got one of the starters that I'm missing. I sent one of them out, and then, yeah, I got that one in the world trade. I was like, okay, he's going to my box. <laughs> See, I want it so that if I ever battle with people and it shows up, then people are, like, instantly wide-eyed. They're like, oh, because it's so different than the normal color variation. So they know there instantly. There are people who do and spend hours upon hours going through and trying to get an entire team of shiny lineup. Yep, there. Uh, some people do the National Pokedex shiny too, which is wild. Like they will hunt the entire Pokedex in shinies. It is an oh, overwhelming task. I love that kind of patience. Some people spend like fifteen thousand hours hunting shinies. I don't have it, that kind of patience. But see, this is uh, speedrunners speed runs games. Like that's all they do. Shiny hunters hunt shinies in games. There are specialized gamers that just play games in a specific way that they enjoy. So, I mean, everybody enjoys their games differently. I just thought it was really weird. And it's that's not. fine. I'm glad that you're enjoying yourself. Do not have that kind of patience. Would not be able to do that. It's ever. also discipline, too. Discipline. It's pushing Discipline. Goo-whack discipline. Yeah, but how, how long can you press that A button before you give up? Some people have given up after like 200 tries and they're just like, oh, this takes too long. Nope. I'm at like 1,200 tries. And I, I'm too far in now to give up. Well, so. according to your calculations, you should be getting it any time now. Should be. <laughs> I'm almost halfway to the halfway mark. So well, I don't know. Maybe. You said I had a better chance of getting the Kara Pony out of WoW than you do getting the shiny Pokemon. But the difference haven't... is you can do that once a once a day or once, once a week. I could do this almost over 100 times an hour. So my chances of getting it are a lot higher. If you could do the Kara Pony that many times an hour, you would get it. 100% eventually. Well, you got, the, you got the gnome head. Yeah, Memoron's head dropped last yeah. night, actually. No shit. Come on now. And then I immediately ran to Kara, and no pony still. Yeah, so at least you got Memoron's head now. Now you've got two mech... Two mech uh, it's like riding mounts. around in a teacup with a propeller <laughs> on it. That's what it feels like. That's what it looks like, too. I got to ride around in it with uh, a dwarf when I was doing the uh, Beastmaster Hunter thing uh, quest yes. line. Nice. So instead of sitting in the center, like I was kind of like off on one half of the seat, and he was off on the other half. 
It's like we that had to share like a really tea. small thing to share with somebody. Let's sit in this teacup together really mm. closely. Well, thank right. God the pets don't like hopping the damn thing either because <laughs> he's kind of bare, and I don't think I could want to be squished up against the damn wall with that. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. It's You'd be bear. sandwiched in between the bear and the no the dwarf. It'd be great. Mm. I'm sure it would smell fantastic. Oh, you know it. Mm, stanky bear. <laughs> anyway, bear um, I don't know. I bet the bear smells better than the dwarf. Maybe. Oh, that's mean. I played some Legion this week too. I'm still working on my paladin quests and shit. One day I will be High Lord, but not yet. Um, not today. Not close. Maybe close. Actually, maybe today. I think I've got all my things that they wanted me to go get. I need so, more world quests. We'll be doing those um, later. <laughs> I also finished up one Let's Play and started another one. Um, not concurrently. That didn't work out quite that or in that order. Um, I had originally got, I picked up Bioshock on Tuesday, the collection, and I was like, I will not play it until Saturday. I will finish up Fallout first, um, because that's been a long-running Let's Play that needs to be done. Ha! <laughs> uh, Bioshock was, like, like laying on the counter over there, and it was like, you want to play me? I'm like, no, Bioshock, you have to wait until the weekend on Tuesday. And it's like, no, now! And I was like, oh, fine, now. So I started the Bioshock collection. There are videos up on YouTube, which were asked for. Um, not that I'm going to protest making Bioshock videos. Totally so, protest. No! There's two up now. I'll be recording more after the show today. Um, it It is so pretty, you guys. So pretty. And if you enjoy the idea of alcohol poisoning, go ahead and play a little drinking game. Every time I say something's pretty in the Bioshock Let's Play, take a shot. Know your limits. Ah. I will not be your hospital bill. Please don't ah. die. Ha! Ah. said so they're going to get like three minutes into the show and die. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is most people at least halfway. Um, ha, I doubt that. They're gonna be like complaining the whole time. It's like, why does, she, why does she keep saying everything's pretty? <laughs> because why don't she shut up? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh well, I'm God, dead. My liver's dead. <laughs> they're gonna take so many shots that they're not gonna realize they're drunk <laughs> until it's too late. It's like, wow, it's only just gonna commit suicide at that rate. It's just gonna be like, no, I'm done, dude. No more of this. Yeah, hey, fuck that <laughs> shit. We we out. Like your liver jumps out of your body. Hey, we done. <laughs> liver just pieces out on its own. Yep. Bye guys. It doesn't want any of that. <sighs> yeah, it's it is so pretty. Um, it's it's really well done. I haven't had any issues. I know, uh, PC people were upset that there was um, some sort of audio issue on their end. Some people on consoles have complained about the same thing. I haven't had any issues, really. Like, the couple that I have, and you'll see every issue that I have because I'm playing it for the first time on the Let's Play. Um, but in the first video, I did find that there was one place where the texture popped in. Not a big deal. I mean, it didn't take long. It was basically a load, right after a load screen. No big deal. Um, and then uh, every once in a while, the audio will repeat itself, but not like a full section of audio. It'll just be like one word repeats, I guess, as it skips to keep up with wherever I, or how fast I'm moving, maybe. Is it a complete rework? Um, I think maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's just... I don't uh, know. No, I, I'm 90% positive it's not a rework. It's just updated graphics. It... Seriously, when you I'm look kidding. at Resident Evil 2 to what they're going to do, that is a 100% rework. But I Bioshock, like everything just the... gets touched up. I, well, I feel like they redid it in the, the Unreal Engine, didn't they? Uh, they may have. But still having like a case to go over is a yeah, lot easier than having to redo the whole game. Ollie said the PC has mouse acceleration problems. Hmm. You can always yeah, play with I've, the controller. I've heard there's one or two issues on PC. I mean, I, I haven't heard anybody saying the game is completely broken and unplayable, um, but I've heard some minor complaints. Um, and I, I know the mouse acceleration thing is not a minor complaint if you are a PC player. That is kind of a big deal. Um, I just don't know how much because I don't, I don't play it on PC. So I'm sorry if, if you feel like I am discounting your problems, PC people. I'm not. I promise you're the master race. You know better than I do. So <laughs> PC. Uh, speaking um, of, uh, sorry, you go ahead. Oh. what? Uh, was I just gonna... had a random topic to go. We can talk about oh, later. Okay, yes. Hold on to that then. Uh, I was going to mention if you have... The games on PC, you can upgrade them, but you have to have your proof of purchase, like your key, your activation key from your original copy. Like if you bought it on Steam, it's gonna upgrade automatically, but if you bought a physical copy of it, you've got to have that code in the in the physical copy. So go and dig out all of your books and find it. Um, if you can't find it, you're gonna have to rebuy. Sorry. Sorry. 
Um, but you can upgrade it. It's I put a link to a Eurogamer article, and I think Ollie had a link on the forums as well. Um, so there's that that's on our forums, infiniterespawn.com slash forums. Uh, go there, and if you need to know an exact walkthrough or the specs you will need to run it on your PC, then it is all there. You should definitely do that. Um, if you're not playing Bioshock Collection, I don't know what's wrong with you. But you My, can watch the mine's videos. being taken over by a, uh, some woman. I have no idea who you're talking about. Did you want to buy another copy? Hey, you know. <laughs> we don't need four it copies. It was wait until you fall asleep with a controller in your hand and then just take it and hide it. But yeah. I can't fall asleep because I'm recording it. Ha! Ah, plan is foiled. Okay, but fine. I will, I will just try wait until have... you actually go to bed and then just take it and hide the damn thing. <laughs> I'll have um. A where is where is where is this week? Uh, I don't I don't know how many because I haven't gotten to sit down and start recording yet, so I can't promise it'll be like one a day or if it'll be like one every other day or something. Um, I know I've got enough to do one every day of Fallout until the game is done, though. I did finish that this week. It's finished, 100%. Woohoo! Well, okay, 100% being I finished the main storyline, there are side quests, and of course, if you want to see the DLC for any of that stuff, I have the season pass, just let me know. I have not planned to do it just yet, but if you want to see it, I will accommodate you. Everybody's like, shut up, Griff. <laughs> no, if I if I wanted you to shut up, I would just say It's so. super unfortunate that you've got the shut up, Griff face on, because we're about to talk about the Ezio collection, since we're talking about remasters, and you know that I, uh, I love it. Don't give me that heavy sigh. <sighs> Stare at your Caitlyn statue, just... I'll talk about Ezio, we'll all be good. <laughs> uh... Who apparently, like, loves it so much, she didn't realize that they did this actually already before. What did I do? What? Oh, oh. The, the SEO close action? Yeah, I honestly I didn't know. Is there was it for 360? Yeah, they they did one for 360 and PS3. I guess it they had yeah the same thing. It was uh it was yeah the Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood and Revelations all together in one. Did they give you all the DLC stuff? I don't remember if they gave you all the DLC stuff. See, or I don't not. even remember hearing about there being a collection before. It just it just kind of came out during the holidays. They didn't. I was like really, under the radar. Yeah. Oh, that's probably why I didn't know about it. It's because I already owned it, so I wasn't looking to buy it. I think it was like right before Assassin's Creed 3 hit or something like that. Or... Oh, so a while ago. Okay. Yeah, it's been out for a while. Well, it's getting remastered. Um, It's going to get prettied up and put on the new gen consoles, so it'll be PS3. PS3. Damn it, you have me think about that. It's PS4, Xbox One, Um, and I'm sure they're going to do it for PC as well, but I I didn't outright see that, so PC don't... PC Master Race. Well... If it's ever on Xbox, you can use it on Windows 10. No, that's true. That's true. I'll just put it like that. You can stream whatever you want to your computer now from your Xbox. So It's coming out in November. I think it was like the 17th, the 11th, something like that. It's it's something right around then. It's it's early November. Um, it's coming out. You'll get all of the DLC for the single player stuff. None of the multiplayer stuff is making the jump from 360 and PS3 over to the new gen. Because honestly, who was playing that? Um, me, not probably, me. Uh, like probably a, a handful. I think of I played people, like maybe two or three rounds, and I was like, all right, I'm I'm done with this. I I didn't even bother. Like Assassin's Creed to me feels like a single player game. I don't see any need for any of the multiplayer. Although, I mean, it's not weird. Bioshock was the same way. There was multiplayer in Bioshock too. They didn't bring that over because nobody really liked it either. So. I'm looking forward to it. And if you're in the U.S. and you buy a copy of the game, like a physical copy of the game, you will get a ticket to see the movie as well. Yay. Let's, uh, hopefully this was not suck and, and we'll do well. And... I think it'll, it'll probably be okay. suck. I think it'll be okay, but I don't think it'll be great. I think it'll be mediocre. I think Yeah, I think it's going to be mediocre at best because they're going to try and force a whole Assassin's Creed story into like an hour and a half. And that is not yeah. gonna fucking it's, work. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a stretch. It'll be, it'll probably feel abbreviated, and they'll probably leave it open for a sequel. But well, you'll get course. those sequels everywhere. Um, you'll get a ticket to see that, so you can go for free if you're buying the physical copy of the game. Ollie said he thinks it's only uh, Xbox and PS4. So, like Chicken said, maybe it'll be that whole cross-platform Windows thing. But other than that, not on Steam, I guess. Yeah, probably um, not on Steam yet. But you know they'll come out with it. Oh, and it also has packaged in with it um, the two short movies or shorts that came out as a prequel and a um, like a post note to the mo- the games. So um, it's lineage. Lineage is the prequel, and Embers is the in the bookend. So you should watch those because one, lineage is amazing, and you get to know Ezio's dad. Uh, and two, 
it's a nice finisher to everything. As if as if watching him through his entire life wasn't good enough. There you go. So. Yeah. Are we gonna see him on his deathbed or something? Um, you see him as an, like an old old man. I know by the time we get to Revelations, he's he's old. He's late life. Um, but you get to see kind of like the happy ending for him. Not that happy ending. That'd be weird. But. What? No one was even thinking about that. Just somebody was, and I was clarifying before you ask. Or yeah, say that, that person that was, was you. <laughs> I don't like, like think about when old you said happy old things. I don't. Know, when you said happy ending, my brain kind of went like, "Oh, look, he, we get to see him and his <laughs> his kids, his grandkids." His, what the fuck, Griff? Yeah, you, same you thing with me. Kid, I think. If, think I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Well, I'd assume so. I mean, if his lineage continues on afterwards. Yeah, I think I was yeah. a daughter. But I'm not 100% sure that you get to see that person. So Incoming game. Yeah, I know, right? Watch it when you get the game. And if you've never played Assassin's Creed before, this is where you should start. Put your foot in the door in Assassin's Creed 2. Ezio is the best assassin in the series. And I will say that because it is 100% true. And if you disagree, you're probably wrong. I don't know. Altair was pretty good. Let's go with those Altair. two the best two. I gotta go with Altair. Altair. He started the series. Yeah, but he got shorted because it was so early in, in gaming and everything, and they didn't know how to do it properly. True, but he was still a fucking fantastic assassin. Yes. So, I 100% agree with that. Yeah, you're you're an Ezio fanboy. That's okay, but you gotta put or Altair, Altair up there. You gotta yes. put him up there. I will agree with that. But once you start getting into, you know, Arno Dorian and, you know, Jacob and Evie Fry, I like them. Not quite the same tier. Yeah, like you got these two up here who are like fucking god assassins, and then you got everybody else. Yep. That's pretty much how it is. So if you've never played Assassin's Creed before and you are any any somewhat interested in the series, this is where you should start. Wait for the collection, play it. You're gonna love it. Hopefully they fix the whole Ezio gets stuck on the wall and just kind of like hangs there for a minute when you're trying to get him to move. Shimmy, but, shimmy. you know. No, no, get get down! Get, get down! <laughs> get down! I have a Let's Play um, of the version for 360. It's on YouTube. You will not believe how many times I have to yell at him to get off the wall. It's like, I am holding the down button. Why are you still on the wall, Ezio? Let go! Let it go! Uh. Fina said I'm on fire today. Yeah. And I should dye, dye this swath um, bright red. Primary red is what she said. It, it's her it's her CEO streak. Don't worry, Fina. That's my next plan is to actually go super bright red. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> Chicken's not excited about that at all. No, not at all. <laughs> no. Oh. Anyway, what what did you... I'll let you... I picked the first two news topics. I'll let you guys pick the next thing that we talk about. So it can be Chicken's Random, uh, whatever it was that he well, read. Uh, it was just a random thought about... Because uh, we talked about Divinity earlier, uh, a couple weeks ago. It is out now for early access, please. And it does not look like it's going to be an early access for a year. Just for the record, people... <laughs> you know, I'm putting that out there. <laughs> I mean, like Ark's like, oh look, we're still in, we're still in early access. It's been a few. Or years. or or Daisy, that's been early access for like two years. Uh, but it is an early, uh, it is an early access. The the bones of the game are there. Uh, lots of really cool stuff. Uh, out of the two two hundred three hundred reviews, only like ten of them are negative, and I read the negative ones just to see. Why are those people writing reviews about that game? One of the bad reviews is I didn't like the first one. I don't like I don't like the the combat style. I don't think this is good. If it was hack and slash, then maybe I'd play it. What? Why? Why, why, why are you? Like <laughs> why are you commenting on it? Like, what, what the hell? You would not believe how often that happens. Though oh, I the... didn't like the last one, so I didn't buy this one. But I still think it's garbage. It's like you don't even know. It's like what the hell? And but... I I know that I sound, and we probably all sound a little hypocritical because we're like, oh, Call of Duty is gonna suck balls because the last one sucked balls. We know that is fact, though. We know that all of those games are copy paste. No, but Divinity was good, and the play style is not changing. It's turn based. R RPG heavy on the RP. It, what what did you expect them to just completely d destroy their formula and try something different? No, that game won so many fucking awards for how good it was. It's like a fucking D and D game <laughs> in video game form. It, it, it's it's perfect for that kind of play style. They're not gonna go ahead and throw it out. They're one of the few that can do it so perfectly. So I, I'm definitely I I may even buy it. Place in 
gaming for those style of games. I know they're not everyone's cup of tea. But some people can't stand turn-based style uh, RPGs. Like I know people that came in uh, the store on the stuff all the time that you know they were like, man, I, I hate games like you know the older Final Fantasies, things like that, because they couldn't stand the, the turn-based. They like action. That's fine. Yeah, like said, it's not it's not everyone's cup of tea on that. Exactly. Uh, it's forty four dollars, forty four ninety nine. It will That's not. Weird. It is not going to be going up in price when it gets fully released. It is forty five dollars. Period. Okay. For a game like that, which is fucking awesome, and even if I don't play it in early access, I may just buy it just to give my support to uh, Larian Studios. First of all, they have my confidence. I have a lot of confidence in that studio to produce a game of that caliber. So uh, that, that's how you earn customers and keep them coming back. First, I think that's one of the arguments that could be applied to, like, should you purchase early access games? And in a case like that, you've, you've seen their history. You know they're good for it. You know they're going to do what they say. They're going to deliver what they promise. It's less of a risk to, oh, to yes. purchase something like that in, in early access as opposed to something from a new upstart that you've never heard of before that has no track record. Um, yeah. We, we were having a discussion about that midweek um, based on, I think, some of the ARC stuff. It's like, do you trust them? but you don't know them kind of deal. So that's, I, I like that you're willing to give money to a studio that you know is going to be an early access, but you already know their product. Well, I don't look at their game being an early access game. I look at their game kind of like, do you want to buy the game now? You can play it and kind of watch us finish like it up. It. Yeah, you could beta test it for us, and you know we'll take your feedback and kind of fix the game. And then when it's fully released, we're going to release a patch and... There you go. You get you get your full game. Like, it doesn't feel like oh, here's an alpha game. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and update this every few weeks. Is that okay? It's like <laughs> n- n- no, no. That kind of that kind of stuff is gonna be a little off putting. But Larian Studios is come on. They give me enhanced edition for free. Yep. Which is so fucking awesome. The game. Good is- guy studios are more likely to be supported in in an early access platform than people that are like, here's what we promised, and you'll never see it. Yep. Yep, yep. But we won't we won't get in on that. I know we've talked about Ark like a few weeks in a row, and there's no reason to bring that back up. Yeah, but there are uh, other studios do the same thing. Rust is still in early access. Daisy still in early access. Daisy is still in early oh, access. Their I... developer announced a new project. <laughs> yeah, a new multiplayer project. So you haven't even finished the last one. What the hell are you doing? Get your shit together before you start something new. That 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 shit is so bizarre to me. Like, how does a company who has been working on an early access game for like two years? come out and be like, hey, we're working on a new multiplayer game, and we're going to put it in early access. No! Your other game's still um, in early access. You have to launch one, and if anybody goes out and buys it, you're just dumb. You're asking to buy a game that is in perpetual early access hell. So, yes, and Ollie is right. Daisy has been in early access for years. Yep. It's, it's incredible that a studio would come out and say that. Like, if you're going to do it, just do it under the fucking radar. Coming out and being like, hey, I'm stupid. <laughs> Don't be stupid, stupid. Yeah, it's like, my money. Phrase. <laughs> I, I just can't believe that they would do something like that. It's fucking ridiculous. So, don't don't buy that game. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Divinity is looking to come out in early 2017. As soon as it comes out, I will be streaming it. Me and three other people will be streaming it. I don't know. Baka, if he wants to play, he is yep. free to join us. I'm going to blow shit up. The cool thing about <laughs> I'm gonna this I'm going to do what game, I want. Dig this grave. No, well, if he digs that <laughs> grave, I'm going to get the guards on him and have him arrested. Because you can turn on your friends, right? Oh, yeah. He, he wants to be that little thief guy? I'll have his ass arrested. But I make sure you... being a thief. I was being a wizard <laughs> with a shovel. <laughs> oh, this guy I stole a shovel. A wizard with a shovel. <laughs> this guy stole a shovel. Someone get him. <laughs> he didn't steal the shovel, though. No, no, no uh, yeah, I, I grabbed the shovel and it was not stealing it. <laughs> <laughs> using it in the graveyard <laughs> to find dig, crap. Dig, 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 dig. And Boom! I just happened to run across the part in the dude's backyard and went, I wonder what he's hiding. If you're new to dig. the show, there's a there's this video is on youtube of them playing divinity on a 24-hour stream so they're both a little tired anyway no it was the beginning and, of the stream oh so was we it okay good. so you're not tired yet uh, um good you can still see baka yeah it's on the youtube that way you can go and just watch the wizard with the shovel be a dumbass 
Yeah, that's why I saved it beforehand. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to save this before you do something stupid and get us killed. I have to he admit, the killed. shock on both of your faces when that happened was priceless. I was not expecting it to explode <laughs> kill me, chicken, and a sheep, and a cow, I think? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, all of us were just like, hmm, well then. I was all curious, right. it kept going, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, I do what I want. Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay with this. Oh my god, okay. Um, so what? yeah, definitely looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> It'll be out if we a lot of like, crazy. Up any loot out of that, or... No, I think we just died. <laughs> we need to try that one of these days where it's like, all right, I'm going to go off and dig. You stay away from like a long distance. I'm going to dig it up, and we're going to see if it at least gives us anything. Yeah, and then it blows me up too and like blows up the whole fucking city. Well, then that's... Uh, Look, the whole town is a crater. All I will I will link to this video um, on the, the forums. There's the news topics for everything that we're going to talk about today, or we'll hopefully talk about. Um, I'll put a link in a reply for that video specifically, so if you don't want to just go shuffling through our YouTube to find it, I'll find it for you, because Ali is not not sure what we're talking about. So, I will save you, Ali. Yes, I will help will. you out. Send I'll do that, that right link. after the show. Uh, oh, well, in other news, there, there's quite a few Blizzard-related stories uh unfortunately we found out earlier this week that uh, for the people who don't know chris metzen is like one of the biggest names in in blizzard he has been with them for the last 21 years and he has worked on every, every warcraft from the beginning all the way through he helped develop the Diablo universe. He helped develop the StarCraft universe. And he was a lead designer on Overwatch. Basically, this man has done fucking everything in you Blizzard. You know what I did not know about Chris Metzen that I learned today because of this news? He had actually, in 1996, wrote a comic called Soldier 76. Really? Yes. Wow. And then, you know, years down the line, here we have Overwatch and Soldier 76 is making a return. Wow. So today I learned, and now everybody has learned something. Yay, education. That is Carry awesome. On. That is awesome. He's also the voice of Thrall, which is the main thing that I knew about him. Yes. If you've ever gone to BlizzCon, which we unfortunately have never gotten to one. which one I, day. I hope he comes back, because I would fucking love to meet the guy who developed all of these universes. His passion, I've seen him in videos, his fucking passion for Blizzard games is unparalleled. Nobody loves his games as much as he does so i'd love to meet him he's retiring he's gonna focus on his family and you know sit on his couch and just do nothing for a <laughs> while sit on his couch and get fat fatter <laughs> <laughs> oh that's mean he just said get he fat. he said that no okay, i said well, that then i misread the article yeah because what i read he said he's gonna get on the uh he's gonna just sit on the couch and get fat uh fatter oh okay that that's because the quote ended at fat for me yeah but okay. yeah, he he's a fantastic dude. Really nice. He, he's like what you should strive for to become if you want to be a developer. Of that he was always fun caliber. to watch at BlizzCon. It was fun watching him because you're right. He did have a whole lot of passion for the whole, you know, Warcraft. Everything that he ever talked about on stage, he was 100 percent passionate about and believed in. Yes. Which is unfortunate because it means at some point he believed in pandas. <laughs> Damn it! Hey, if you're gonna do something, do it 100 <laughs> percent. Absolutely. That's I would agree with that 100%. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's, that's how, that's how, you, I that's how you do it. I'm kind of surprised the pandas don't have an ability where they like roll into a ball and roll at people or something. Or... They have a. They uh, do. They're called monks. Monks have one that well, you like, get into a barrel a and roll. Just as like a racial ability or something. Oh. Well, there were other Blizzard things aside from just Chris Metzen leaving, which we're all sad about. Um, yes, yeah, very sad. It is unfortunate. Those are going to be some big shoes to fill, whoever has to take Ooh, that job. Man, they can't take it. They cannot fill his shoes. He's taking his shoes with him. <laughs> so, I mean, that guy, something else. Awesome. Um, in other news, uh, a former Blizzard lead designer, Rob Pardo, probably nobody's heard of him, which is fine. Oh, sorry. Uh, has announced he is creating a new indie team. Which is really cool because he's got some pretty good uh, uh, experienced people behind him. Uh, I don't think it's on here. Uh, I, I saw it somewhere. I think on MMO Champ were the actual people, but they've they got a lot of people from each of the departments. You know, have a lot of experience. Uh, but his backers, which have me nervous, are Tencent 
and uh, a company out of Silicon Silicon Valley. Just yeah, it has one. a weird. Yeah, it's an investment company. Yeah. Um, Tencent. For those of you that don't know, Tencent are who backs Riot Games. Oh, who owns Riot? Who owns Riot Games? Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, they are one of the big. They are the biggest Chinese company, and they own Riot Games. Yeah. Um. Whatever they're doing, like they haven't announced the project yet, but they did say, um, in one of the interviews, Rob Purdue said that. He feels like Riot's game-focused community uh, fits their vision for what they want to do with online gaming. So whatever they're doing will have online elements. I don't know if it means it's going to be like uh, like League and whatnot, where it's 100% online multiplayer all the time. It may or... be. Now that I'm thinking about it, if Tencent owns them, they may uh, create an offshoot Riot game. Maybe. Yeah, because they, I mean, Tencent owns Riot. They can use all of their uh, intellectual property as they feel so. i just know we've had problems with riot lately and i know you're super hopeful about it i will reserve judgment that's fine for a future date when they they've actually of... announced a project and showed us something yeah they, they got they got good names behind them we'll just have to see where it goes because i know that tencent is shady they can't be sketchy yeah shady. not too oh and also one of the people that they hired was the ceo i think it was of nexon Nexon's nice. mobile gaming, right? Uh, I think Nexon are actually. Let me let me make sure that I know. Um, <laughs> All of the stuff we should have learned before the show. They are the owners of some some of the most iconic. Uh, re- oh wow, Lawbreakers. Oh. Are they working with Lawbreakers? Okay. Yes. That's why it sounds familiar. Don't don't say yeah because they're the people who run Blade and Soul. I think they're ones the ones. Blade who... and Soul is that um, MMO that you were playing, right? Yeah, is that it's the good. right one? Okay. Yeah, they own Vindictus. They own Dirty Bomb. They uh, Dirty which, Bomb is neat. Yes, a game that we have. Uh, Dragon's Nest. Uh, several... They've got two sides of the story there, because I mean, like Tencent, it could go really sketchy and awful, but Nexon not so bad. Nexon bad because Nexon can is all but willing to do things under the table, like f- pay to win games. It's okay, they make money from it. They they're not afraid to jump into just money is making Blade ventures. Pay to win? Uh, no, but I swear that they're the owners of uh. APB. They're the ones who bought oh. it. Oh. Wait, they bought it after the fact? Because if it's after the fact and all the microtransactions were already in place, yeah, that's they not just, really... They're the ones who bought it, redid yeah, it, and left them the, in. The microtransactions beforehand were not like super bad. It was... But now like, they are. Yeah, like okay. you could still buy the weapons in the game with currency, but if you wanted to you know, give them a little bit of money, you could rent guns out temporarily, so... or you could spend extra at the time to like just flat out purchase them or something. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me make sure. I'm going to get my... Chicken's trying to get his facts straight yes, on the show as it happens. Yes. <laughs> this is live, you guys. Yes. This is how uh... we don't prepare anything, except for me, who occasionally no. prepares things. Shh, every so often. Actually, I think... Okay, Nexon is not the one. Gamers First, I we'll think. We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, Gamers First is the other one that does the same thing Nexon does, but they're the ones who are all but willing to jump into the money making schemes of online games so well, we're not interested in pay to win so don't make it pay no, to win no don't that is all <laughs> yes uh next time is also the ones who did ghost in the shell the new uh online shooter game which is pretty neat but i think that may be pay to win too i i've not heard anything about it so i have no idea it's all over steam sorry it's been like three years since you signed on to steam it has not been three years Close enough. Like a month, probably. <laughs> hey, yeah, close <laughs> enough. But uh, I've got yeah. other stuff. Sorry. Yeah. We'll 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 see how it goes. Yeah. If Nexon's a good company, <laughs> then their game <laughs> will, will do well because their stability of online communities is mediocre. Good. We'll see. We'll <laughs> see. Uh, well, I, we'll just have to wait and see and reserve judgment for now. Yes. yes, everybody hold your judgment, unless you know something that I don't, in which case, go ahead. <laughs> All right, and the last bit of Blizzard news. Fina, Fina, pay attention. Fina, I need your help. We yeah. need each other. Okay. Riff, Riff has a new mount to farm. Okay. It's not farming. It's just ridiculous. All right, I don't know what the hell Blizzard was thinking during this expansion, but the amount of hidden shit in this game is 
unparalleled to any of the other expansions. It is so crazy. So crazy. Okay. To get... All right, to do the first part of this one, it, there, there's a, a mount called the Reigns of the Long Forgotten Hippogriff. It's purple. It's neat looking. It's a purple hippogriff that's been in the game since 2007, but it was never actually implemented. So it's special because it's been there all along. Okay, so the first way to do it is in Warcraft 3, and one of the first things that you do when you arrive on the Broken Isles... We're going all the way back to Warcraft 3. Yes. Uh, there is a guy named Drek, Drek Duel. Uh, Illidan talks to him and points him to uh, the, the Tomb of Sargeras. So that he gets the Skull of Gul'dan. Because Gul'dan died. The original Gul'dan died in the Tomb of Sargeras. Okay. You... And yes, there's also a Harris Pilton in... Under, or, She's in Sh- Shatrath. Yeah, she sells lower a city. gigantic Outworld. bag. Yeah. But you go and talk to him. He's on the broken uh he's on the broken uh broken isles. The the one or the broken shore. You go out there and you talk to him until he has nothing left to say. You go and find a skull somewhere or or something and you bring it back to him. You talk to him until there's nothing left to, to talk about again until she could get lost. Uh from there, I think you have to go and find eight orbs hidden really, really, really well in the world. You can only click on them once every 50 minutes. So if someone else is getting there, you better fucking camp there and get it before oh, they get Oh, you're talking it. about the other mount. This isn't the one for... Is, don't you have to do this no. one to unlock the next no. chain for that one? I don't think so. I didn't that's, see where it said that. I swear that's what we're reading about. Okay. Oh. Well. No, this is, you just have to go and click the, you have to find and click the crystals. Oh, well, okay, we'll get to that one. After you click the eight orbs, a world quest unlocks in the Eye of Ajara, which is the island south of the Broken Isles. Yes. And you go there, you kill a giant boss, and you get a giant tentacle uh, octopus mount. A tentacle octopus, it's an octopus mount. It's an octopus mount. It's really fucking neat. Is it an octopus or a jellyfish? Jellyfish. Can you ride that on land? I think so. Yes. I kind of want that one. Right? Ah, good luck. That's the problem is good luck getting that one because you need a, a raid group for the world boss thing. And as you know, on our server or our set of servers, our battle group, I have a jar is owned by Horde. So good luck for us getting it ever as Alliance until the game's population dies down again and all the Horde players go back to school. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but no, the one, the, the, the purple hippogriff, you there are ephemeral crystals in a, a Juna that you have to you have to find five and be the first to click them in an eight hour span. So good luck on that, because everybody else is gonna be clicking them. And see, I'm glad that there's no flying right now for things like that, because that shit would make it so fucking easy. And people would just go fly, fly. It, it, it makes the competition so much more fierce. You gotta drive around to all the different ones and try to get it. And... The lazy people who just want to fly and go Fina, click, Fina, click, Fina. click, I'm going to link this so that you can see it because I know that you like mounts and I like mounts and we need this. I'm just saying. You do we understand that you two are going to have to compete for it. I know, but we can help each other compete. Hmm. I can let her have it first and then I can get it. Hmm. I got Vimeron's head before her. I feel bad. So well, I don't know how many mounts she has compared to you. I, I made you a fucking sky golem. She, I think she was working on one fifty. Well, she's a little. I'm behind. like nineteen short of two hundred. So actually, eighteen short of two hundred. No. Yes. So yay! I'm excited. Mount mount collecting is is a thing, and I guess like shiny hunting for chicken. Um, so if you you don't play World of Warcraft and you think this is totally weird, I'm sure there's something in a game that you play that somebody does that's weird too, that involves a lot of collection or completion, or even like, not even in just the game you play, but the platform you play, you're a console player. Animal Crossing. Yeah, people do 100% trophies and 100% achievements, and they're all crazy crack faces about it, so it's kind of the same deal. Yes, everyone's got their own things that they like to do. Sorry, my DS is dying. (sighs) Plug it in and stop shiny hunting for two seconds. I am. I can't. That's two seconds that I'd be wasting. Shut up. I need every attempt that I can get. Fina needs the corgi pet. It wasn't that the molten corgi though? Isn't that for uh, molten the molten core event? 
when yeah. they re-released the 40 yep. man raid the How, can you still get it anywhere no i do not think so i think that was just a limited time i have it I but think. i don't like it because it rubs its butt on the ground which is gross it like scooty butts all over the ground and it's just leaves lava little... trails. yeah as i say it leaves lava trails it's everywhere. so gross i that is why i do not have any of the like the pug or any of those any of the dog pets i will not have out because i just don't like it like <laughs> I yell at my own pets in real life for that. I don't need to see it in game too. It's so gross. There's a new oh, there's one a coming. new one coming for Legion. Okay. Well, figure out how we get it, and I'll help you get it. Um, if you need my help. If not, then you know. Oh, speaking you of uh, pets, I got a dust bunny. Oh yeah, in Dollarant. Dollar Again, we're talking WoW. Sorry for everybody who doesn't play WoW or doesn't like WoW. The shiny will wear off in like a couple of months. I promise. But until then, we're still finding, like he said, there, Blizzard's hit all of these crazy things. It's stuff that we're excited about because it's fun stuff in a game that we've played forever and it's new and fresh. Okay, the Corgi Pup is going to be uh, from a Time Walker historians during WoW's 12th annual anniversary. 12th annual anniversary? <laughs> you mean yes. just 12th anniversary? 12th anniversary. <laughs> we have our 12 year anniversary every year, yep. annually. Uh, and. Cor Corgnelius is coming to be a pet too. Oh jeez. His name is Corgnelius. Do, is... do you want to tell us how you got your dust bunny? I actually am not one hundred percent sure. Um, I got the dust bunny to spawn, but lost the battle. See, I don't do pet battling, so I don't have anything big enough to battle it. I did because pet battling is Pokemon. In oh Wild yeah, we'll, we'll go over Bacchus here shortly because I know he's gonna start leveling up his pet so that he can get it too. But oh. uh, the Dust Bunny apparently there's a dirty rug somewhere in Dalaran, and if you click on it, you clean it, and then you get a buff that says uh, you have this strange urge to clean Dalaran, and that will spawn Dust Bunnies. I clicked on it on accident apparently because I was walking through the pet shop looking at all the stuff, and then I walked out and I saw one just walking down i was like what the hell is that thing it's a dust bunny i want it so i captured it and then i realized that i had a buff so uh, it's really weird but tons of secrets in this damn thing yes like baka baka loves ninja turtles as we all know <laughs> i mean that man lives and breathes ninja turtles there's a ninja turtles set that he can get of pets but you have to it's battle just them. one oh it's just one i thought you got three sorry no. it's just one it's got four charges but you, there's the only one is in there is pretty much leonardo because he's got the little swords and the but at least bandana. it's your favorite right yep so come on now start okay. leveling up pets now <laughs> like i said just Cheat like I did and, you know, that's, capture. That's not really cheating how you did Use it, Use the though. alternative method instead of leveling them and just... If you uh, want to know Chicken's method for leveling pets, hit him up on Twitter or hit the forums. He'll explain it to you. It, I'm not going to let him tell you all here. It's quick. She just doesn't want me to talk anymore. I know how she gets. That's not true. That's but, okay, hey, just... you know what? That's extra time for you to talk to somebody on a one-on-one -on -one basis because that's how we like to roll around here. I don't want to talk to people. I have a uh, squirrel as a pet that I found. I got one of those too. I found him. Crispy. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. All right. You want to talk about something that's not WoW related to kind of finish everything up? No. Too bad. <laughs> Do we have to? It is equally as crazy. And I'll tell you why. Like, just the one word name Kojima. alone Kojima means crazy. Like, that well, just actually, translates to insane. Kojima and. Um... Uh, Del Toro are both involved in this. So Yes. So we know that he announced Death Stranding, which will be his new game. It'll be his first game as an independent developer away from um, Konami. So everybody's like, oh, shit, this game's going to be amazing, you guys. And sure, maybe it will be, but it'll be like 60 years before we see it. So quit holding your breath. Somebody's going to die. Um, well, it's supposed to be before the J uh, Japan Olympics. When's that, 2020? 2020. Okay. There's so, also apparently an anime that's going to be coming out that goes along with it, too. Are you serious? Please stop. <laughs> anyway, he's been very secretive about, about the game you know, and whatnot. And it's probably not so much secretive as there's just not anything to tell yet because he doesn't have a solid thing worked out. I mean, we saw the, the trailer at E3 and everybody after the trailer was like, what the fuck did I just watch? What is this even about? Um, we still don't know what it's about, but it's going to be a at least a somewhat open world with a quote-unquote degree of freedom. So I'm going to assume that there will be at least a handful of choices that you are allowed to make that might change how your game plays as opposed to somebody else's. Um, whether that means like online interactions, I don't know. Yeah, that's right, online interactions. Um, I thought it was online. 
the hand gestures, you guys, are getting crazy. I mean, we came up with a whole new thing last week. Anyway, um, there's rumors. There's nothing solid yet. Everybody's been speculating what engine it's going to be used to make this game. Um, what the rumor is is that it's going to use the same engine that uh, Media Molecule is using to make that Dreams game, that really weird create-your-own-dreamscape game. Oh, yeah. Um, so, we, I mean... Nothing solid yet. We don't know anything else. But he did show one picture. And it wasn't even from the game. It was like a cutesy little cartoon of uh, Del Toro and Kojima and Norman Reedus and Mads Mikkelsen all holding hands with like a jump rope or something. I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. But what the hell? yeah, it's it's super cutesy. Um, here, I'll link it in chat. So, so what can... kind of drugs do you think this guy is on on a regular basis? Because I'm looking at him, and he just looks like he's just out of his damn mind. I, I just... I don't know, but those are probably some of the best drugs in the world. He looks like he could start a cult. He, he could. That's the thing. Is there, like, everybody's like, Kojima's a genius. And you and I were talking about this earlier, about whether or not if the game was bad, people would say it was bad. No, 50% of his hardcore fans would, would yell at you if you thought his game was bad because he's a genius and you just don't know any better. Like, there, there are some people, this man cannot do any wrong in their eyes, and I think that that means you're right. He could start a cult. Would you join? That's that's our question of the day. Would you join Kojima's cult if he started one? Hey, no. Come on, if you got to take the drugs that he's taking, wouldn't you join up? I think they'd have to like sneak the drugs into my food first, <laughs> <laughs> and then like once I got addicted to them, maybe we'll talk. But <laughs> maybe we'll talk <laughs> if they make me happy all the time, <laughs> or make me look like him all the time. Right. <laughs> Ollie said that Norman Reedus is pretty buff in the game. Well, in the trailer. We haven't seen anything from the actual game yet. And he said that's good enough reason to play it. I have no... Uh, uh, see, I don't, I don't think Norman Reedus is super attractive. Sorry, Ollie. I'm, I'm all about looking at some buff dudes, though. But for some reason, the, the whole engine, like the look of the game, when they showed it off in that trailer, I was not attracted to anything. It looks weird. Jamie looks young for his age. I might <laughs> Ollie's all about it. Fina said yes. Looks like everybody's leaning towards yes. We'll join the Kojima cult if we get his drugs. Yeah, then everybody gets sacrificed to Cthulhu. Yeah, but you'll be on so many drugs that you'll think it's the best idea on the planet. You'll be like, hell yes, sacrifice me. I, I, I would have to have a stipulation that the first person Cthulhu kills is Justin Bieber. And he has to do it like they do in South Park where he just like picks him up and pops his head. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. <sighs> I don't, I don't know. Anyway, there, that was it. That was all of the extra information that Kojima gave out about Death Stranding. And I am reserving my right about that game until further notice. <laughs> I really, like, I think it's weird. And I think after seeing PT, I think we know he's capable of doing some really, like, crazy outside-the-box shit. But where's the line and how crazy is too crazy? Because as we saw with Metal Gear, sometimes that line gets really, like... Man, he jumped Thanks over that so fucking straight. line. To be fair, like, honestly, if you go back and play all the, like, go through and then look at all the Metal Gear games, they were batshit crazy from the beginning, but... I know, but that's what I'm saying, though, is, like, that line gets so weird and, like, cartoonishly weird. Not, like, this is weird, I saw a guy take his head off and juggle it. It's, like, I saw a guy take his head off and juggle it and then, you know, sell it on eBay or some shit like that. You're, like, that's just one step too far in the weird category. In the weird category. In the, in the weird, like, I can't take it seriously. And it looks like Death Stranding is supposed to be serious. So are we going to be able to take it seriously or not? I don't fucking know. You're going to take it seriously enough not to buy it. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. PT was serious. Well, it was a playable teaser. And as we all have seen before, trailers can mean absolutely nothing when it comes to the actual game. Resident Evil 7. Yes. Oh, by the way, I didn't link it in the news or anything, but there was some gameplay footage for the new Metal Gear multiplayer, Metal Gear Survive or whatever. Is it um, Metal Gear Left 4 Dead? Yeah, it, it honestly, Left 4 Dead looks like it's a better game. <laughs> I just, you can still use like the balloon things, you know, in, in uh, Phantom Pain and all that stuff. You can uh, attach the balloons and it takes people up. Well, since you're in this alternate universe and there's no helicopter to get it, it just like pulls up the sheep or whatever you've attached it to. So all the zombies will run towards it and then you can set them on fire with a Molotov. Hey, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Look, everybody, it's a sheep. 
Yep. Look, zombies get the sheep, get the sheep. Boom. That's weird. They have the zombie things look kind of like the clickers from The Last of Us too. Somebody in the comments was like, "Why are they all vagina heads?" It's like, well, um, that's a good question, commenter. Why are they all vagina maybe, heads? Maybe we'll we'll find out at some point or another. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a written. You can. Um, there's one where you can toss out a beacon, so you can tell your your team where to meet up. And I'm like, but if you're playing this as a team, aren't you all kind of already together? But if you're not, it's better to have something like that in there and not use it than not have it and need it. I guess it. that's true. So, because there's always going to be that one idiot that wants to go running off by himself. <laughs> be like, motherfucker! There's a beacon right here. Come do the beacon. But I'm playing Rainbow. Do, 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 do. Why aren't you guys here? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Hunter got me. Wrong game, dude. There's also um, new melee weapons. It looks like the melee system got an overwork or a work over overhaul. Overhaul. That's what I was going for. Work overhaul. Um, you can get a spear and like poke them with your spear. So there's 15 minutes of gameplay if you want to watch dude, it. Dude, I just want to like like go all fucking Dynasty Warriors on the zombies and just start <laughs> get Lu Bu in the, the, the zombie game and just start hacking them all. It's not a very fair like combat. He'd just kill everything. <laughs> <laughs> That is very true, especially if he's in one of the hard modes. He'd just be like, what? What, a tank wants to fight me? these things? Wham! Just like, said that she felt out. like PAX was full of rust ripoffs and Left for Dead ripoffs. So we're doing all, like, survival and all zombies again? Co-op games. Mm. That is definitely where people are trying to push hard for. Uh, open world survival's hot right now. So hot. And... Yeah. Co-op. Co-op zombie killing. I mean, co-op action it? games. Yeah. So hot right now. We just need that meme flashing where Oaks plays. <laughs> so hot. It's so hot right uh, now. I'm just trying to think of any other like co-op games that are on the horizon that I'm. I mean, I know they're scale bound, but what else? Metal Gear, I guess, counts. Metal Gear Survive, Survival, what the fuck ever Divinity. it's called. Divinity. Divinity. Okay, yeah, that's co-op. It's four player now. Yep. So Griff is totally playing Divinity with us, right? Uh, I don't I don't like turn-based combat combat. I'm sorry. It's not my cup of tea. I get so bored waiting on people to make choices. She that is does. why I can't play things like um what's that game that you guys love and I just don't uh I don't know. Total There's... War. Total War. It's all tactical. You guys have to like sometimes I've seen Chicken go AFK while Baka and Red think about their moves for like fifteen minutes. Can't do that. That's why I don't like playing civilization in a group. I don't. I don't like waiting. Well, I'm that's why I, we always multitask. Wait for other people to take their turns. I, I love mean, games yeah, like that. Whenever I'm done with all my stuff, I'm usually like, you know, have another game up and going. Or yeah, multitasking. Actually, the last few times I ended up like sitting there painting a model or something while they were going. Yep. I, I really okay. enjoy games like that. Not me. Because they 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 require more. No offense to you. They Go require ahead. more critical thinking and tactics. Than just pew 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 pew. That's not true. A lot of games that I play require critical thinking and having to figure out the best way to go about something without murdering yourself. Or you just run in with your wrench and beat them to death with it. That's not and true. Die! Die! Really die! Die! Yeah. Reload and wrench. Click. Click. I got said it. That the first video when I got the wrench I was like, you don't know how many times I'm gonna try to reload this. <sighs> but yeah, I just. They, other games require critical thinking as well. Like Assassin's Creed. I played last night. I played some more Syndicate. And it's like, you need to do this. Here are some ways that you can accomplish this. You have to pick at least one and don't die on the way. And then I died on the way because I fell off of a building and I fell into a big group and I didn't mean to and that was a mistake. But I was planning out my route and then made a mistake. All right, fine. I it's like comparing... Killed you, but... It's like comparing chess to checkers. Yeah, checkers does require some critical thinking, but in chess, a move you make now can affect you 30 turns down the road. Okay, in true. a game like that, yeah, your mission may be take a little longer, but you're not gonna. It's not gonna screw up a mission 10 missions down the road. So it's it's a little bit different in that aspect where I've got to be very careful about how I place my units, how I balance my money and what I do this turn because if I don't back myself up properly I, I'm going to lose armies and cities and things like that and I can't afford to do things like that. So. Yeah. That, so. I just don't like to have to think out that far ahead. I'm more of a here and now. 
Like, that's how I, I am in life, too. Like, I enjoy planning and I enjoy organization, but I cannot do long term. Like, when people are like, where do you see yourself in five years? I'm like, that is an excellent question. If I had a crystal ball, I would tell you Hopefully what I still no alive. Idea. That yes, would be like my that's answer. That's the main goal is alive. Yep. But beyond that, no idea. Where would I like to see myself in five years? I can give you like a whole bunch of stuff about that, but where, opening, where do uh, I actually see myself? Opening a suitcase full of money. Yes. That's no, I, would like I have to see already myself. like four years ago opened the suitcase full of money and I am now reaping the benefits of it. That's where I see myself. <laughs> uh, the witness I have not. What, what uh, is the it? The witness I have only heard good things about. Like I honestly, Ollie saying that it gives him motion sickness is the first bad thing I have heard about the game. What is it? Um, It's like a murder mystery kind of deal vr um, game solve the i don't i don't think so well, i haven't I'm heard of thinking it. the same game let me double check and make sure i'm thinking the same game fact checking check your facts no no wait i'm not thinking the same game the witness oh yeah oh, i'm not I thinking the same game. game i've seen it a couple of times those trees are pink they have pink leaves it's on steam uh here, I'll link it in chat, and I will put it on uh, somewhere later. It's a puzzle game. So, no, I was not thinking the same thing. What was I thinking? What's that game called? Uh, what game? I'll figure it out. There's a murder mystery game. Ooh, that looks really pretty, actually. Stop auto-playing, though, Steam. Why do you do that? Steam's tamp. Oh, so it's like, um, it's kind of based on the same thing. as It's very positive, by the way. Uh... It looks like it's kind of like the Talos Principle. Is it like that, Ollie? Right, I don't that's know so if he's played the Talos, the Talos Principle. I didn't get very far because it's a puzzle game and I get frustrated. <laughs> yeah, you'll play Portal every fucking time for some damn reason. Yeah, it's specific it's kinds of puzzles, I guess, yeah. Plus, Portal's got the running commentary that I also enjoy very much. I like the banter that GLaDOS throws out. Like, it's a one-sided banter, but I very much enjoy it. I enjoy the way that that game is written. And I like figuring that out. Um, it has no story at all. Well, okay, a bit. That's what Ali said. So, see, I don't know if I could do that. I need... I, need I think he was saying a bit to playing Talos Principle. Okay. Well, if it has no story, I might not be able to play it. I like, I like progression, and I like visible progression. I like being like, okay, here's your goal. Here's why you're going there. Go. You're here. Here's what you've accomplished. Here's your next goal. Go. Go. Go, 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 go. That is part of why I was never, even in the beginning before we actually had No Man's Sky's reviews or everything, when they first started talking about it, I was not interested at all. Because it's just getting your spaceship and go. There's no actual story to it. Just go. And I'm like, no. You I'm liked Terraria. I liked that Terraria have... in a group setting, and I also liked Terraria because it let me build things kind of like, I mean, it was like Minecraft before there was Minecraft. Actually, I don't know if it was before or around no, the same No, uh, Minecraft but... came out first, yeah. But yeah, I, I like the building aspect of that. I mean, it's the same thing with The Sims. There's no story. You just build stuff. Do I actually play The Sims? Like, for five minutes. But what do I really do? Build The Sims and then their houses. And then, and then traps them in and let them die. Yep. Yep. That's everybody. Everybody, like 90% of people who buy The Sims buy it to kill The Sims. That's actually not true. I get too attached to them in the creation process. So I build them and then build their house. And I think up a whole happy little backstory for them. And then I go to somebody else. <laughs> My Sims live happily ever after. I don't actually happily live. ever after. I don't live in a Sim zoo. I mean, the fuck, woman. I tried that once, and then I got really sad because I got attached to them. I'm like, no, I can't leave them like this. This is awful. One of them is about to burn down the house and is crying because he peed himself. I can't do it. I can't. So I immediately gave him a toilet and a shower and let him fix himself up because I felt too bad about it. Like I felt guilty about pixels. I have it killed myself. It kind of reminded me of, uh, of this, though, where you're kind of trapped on an island. And you have to figure stuff out. Are you trapped on this island? You I wake think... up alone on a strange island full of puzzles that will challenge and surprise you. That is the tagline for the witness. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Kind of how mi what Mist was. I mean, it's forty bucks. Wow. Highly recommended. All right. Well. Uh, Sorry, I, I was looking at the the reviews. That's most of the topics for today. Anybody have anything else that they want to disclose? Yes, go to YouTube, watch the videos, go do it now. No, um, wait till after we're done here. Yes, wait till after we're done here. But go watch the videos. There's, like I said, we'll finish up Fallout this week. Um, we are still playing Bioshock, which I imagine won't take too terribly long. Although I am lost a little bit. 
What? Uh, how do you, you get lost in that damn game? Um, it's me. Uh, first of all, secondly, I get distracted by looking at stuff, and then I realize that I've turned myself around. Um, it happened a lot in Fallout, too. Like, the end of Fallout, the last couple of videos will be a lot of, um, where do I go now? Where do I need to go? Because as much as I've played Fallout, I've only finished the game twice. And so once we get up to that point of no return where you, like, are doing synth retention as the quest and everything, I have no idea what's going on anymore. Because I usually leave it there and go back to do all my side quests. So there's a lot of, um, I don't know what I'm doing in the last couple of follow videos. Sorry, everybody. We're doing this together, though. And then after that, I have no idea what we're going to be doing. I know Baka and I are going to start Halo 2. Eventually. I swear this is a thing that will happen, Baka. Eventually. Eventually, yes. So, maybe next weekend. If you're off again next Saturday, I thought you had to work. Granted, I was busy making the other stuff, the Fallout videos and whatnot, but if you are free next weekend, we will start it next weekend, which means... I know I work Saturday. I know yeah. I'm off Friday, though. I have to work on Friday. I work during the week, Baka. We can't work harder during the week. <laughs> I know. So, it'll have to be a Saturday or a Sunday. We'll see. Anyway, um... Check out the YouTube. Go there. If you like our videos, subscribe and all that fun stuff. If you don't like them, comments are helpful. Maybe we can make it better for you. If you would just say what you don't like about it, that'd be great. And if it's me, then yeah, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah. But you can at least say I've, that. I've tried many years. <laughs> it doesn't work. No. It's like concrete. It's like trying to mold concrete over here. Well, are we? what are we doing this week on stream? As far as Heroics. Twitch Getting ready for Mythics, man. Oh, the Keystones are coming out in three days. Three days. Fina, if you're ever around and you see us doing dungeons, please let us know if you would like to go. We are always down. Um, we've got tank and healer, so DPS, always welcome. DPS, Which yes. is weird. Usually it's like, no, we need a tank. We need a healer. No, we got both those. Wait, tank, <laughs> tank right over there. Healer. Tank and healer. Husband-wife combo right here. We'll carry you. <laughs> no, actually, you'll probably you. carry yes, us. Yes, fleet. Yeah. But, uh... The raids are going to start opening up soon, so we need to start looking to get into Mythics and do... We need to gear. Everybody needs to start gearing, and I want to do that as a group. So, Fina, you and Kratos are around. Um, I think Kizzy already is way ahead of us. So, I, I, I don't know. I guess, Chicken, you can go to Dungeons on your Rogue when we're taking Kizzy to stuff, because we'll need to gear her, too. Um, because I don't want that to all be left on the individual. That That's shitty. So... So, I'm going to take my... That's okay. My Rogue is really fucking geared, so... So oh. he's good. My Paladin's druid, uh, getting there. I can I can take my druid by himself. I started leveling up my warrior. When is the raid? Um, Ollie, they haven't actually. I don't know. Have they announced when the first raid's gonna be out? I don't know if we've got a date for the first raid. I just know we need to get ready for it. We need to do heroics, which are out. Um, which are gonna be hard as well. Say something, G chat. Wait more than two minutes for an answer. Okay, we'll do. Is that what we did last time? Were we like, hey, Fina, you want to go? And then it immediately queued. Sorry if we did that, Fina. Uh, they're they're raid testing on September nineteenth on the PTR. That's PTR though. That's not us. Yeah, but when they do raid testing, it means it's they're only, getting ready. Yeah, it'll be like next week. Okay. It, it takes no time. Like they test it, make sure the mechanics work, no bugs, and then they go ahead and release it. Because in house they Unless make sure they, they run into break... a major bug and then it could get pushed back another week. But... Yeah, that is true. But they are very good about pushing their game, pushing their bosses as hard as they can to try and find as many exploits as they can. Yes, they like to be very thorough. Yes, um, that's they why they do everything on the PTR really and then bring it over. Yes. So, um, start gearing up for that. I know Ivy's not leveled yet. Ivy, get to one ten. We'll help you gear up too. You can go with us. Um, uh, mythics are about 835. My rogue is at 831, so I just need a few more I am cases. not anywhere near. My paladin is at 805 item level. I am not ready. No, you're I, not. I, you're at 810. You oh, can do yeah, that's right. Now. I got, yep, that's right. I got those so, extra pieces. So I, I, I think I'm just about ready for mythics. I'm a few, few points short of uh, 835. Okay. And we've slipped back into WoW talk. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. We were gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish this up then, but uh, there's a bunch of world quest grift that we're gonna do. A bunch of 825 gear plus. Okay. So we'll we'll do that. Bunch of upgrades. Uh, but with that, that's where we will call a show before we get into WoW too heavily. Yes. So uh, you can see it on stream. We'll be here all all week, hopefully, barring any sort of Comcast foolishness. Um, 
we stream Monday through Friday at it's seven for us. So what? Eight p.m. Eastern. Eight yes. p.m. Eastern. Eight p.m. Eastern. Seven p.m. Central. Six p.m. Mountain. Five p.m. Uh, Pacific. What time is it for Ollie? Five, four, three, two, like one in the morning for Ollie. <laughs> one in the morning for Ollie. I Who's think just it is. Testing you. Sorry, I got. I gotta remember. Like I just count backwards on the globe, and then it comes <laughs> back around. Uh, all right. Well, we'll be here Monday through Friday for streams for that. If you've never pl played WoW before, you should at least stop by and chat with us and see it. It's it's very colorful and pretty sometimes, and there's a lot of frustrations in in dungeons. So sometimes it can be a lot of fun. Ooh, mythics! I can't wait to get into those. Those are gonna be difficult. We're gonna I die. Hold everything with barrage. Oh, You're like ready. you don't already. All right. Don't forget to go to the YouTube. Lots of stuff happening there. I'm not letting you talk about WoW. We will never, only never. get sidetracked. It is 3.15. I have a million videos to record and All dinner right. to make. Yes. All right. So with that, thank you guys very much. Be sure to check out the website, infinitespawn.com. Everything Infinite Respawn is there. Our yep. YouTube videos, our Twitter, our... I'm working on making, or we're working, I'm not going to take all the credit for it, and I will not take all the credit if it fails. Um, we're working on making a videos page so that you can get to hey, everything. that's not cool. Video you can content. take all the credit if it fails. <laughs> <laughs> so that you can get to all of the video content from there as well. We just haven't gotten everything worked out with it. Um, we've been working on it for a little while, though. So hopefully yes. soon you will have a videos page as well where you can see that. And we'll, uh, yep. yep. And so. our Twitter. Go to Twitter, infinite res, at Infinite Res PC. You that's can check that out on the website. It's right yep. there on the left side. Everything that you can do is right there. So we will see you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more WoW. So later. Bye. Later. Sorry, I was typing to Bye. <laughs>